Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ray Torn and welcome back to Heart Farm 4 as we are playing with the German Empire. So this video will likely be a bit late today uh, simply because I'm recording this uh, extremely late or, or I guess you could say really early depending on how you look at it. It's about, it's almost 4 in the morning right now. Uh, so there's no way this video is going to be up in time given how long it takes to get the videos edited and uploaded and all that good stuff. So it's going to be a little late today. That's okay. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's episode where we should be invading the British. Well, that's the plan anyway. Uh, we just finished up the cipher for the United States. We also captured a Canadian operative. So again, we, we see that the United States and their faction are, are spying on us. So we're definitely uh, a target for them. Uh, they do have war goals against us, so they could declare war at any point. And I do assume that they would be, uh, where we would be, the primary enemy for them. I can't see who they would declare war on before us, just given the fact that we have uh, caused so much world tension. That's kind of like the primary factor and how the uh, democracies determine who they're going to attack. Uh, so yeah, I do expect that uh, they might declare war. Let's hope they don't. They've had that war goal for a while and haven't made use of it, so yeah, they might not. Uh, so we had the Italians lose three submarines, we sunk two of those British destroyers, five more sunk there. So again, just having a very large amount of success here against the Royal Navy. This seems like a lot of these aren't disappearing or uh, aren't popping up or whatever. Maybe they're in other areas I'm not looking at. I mean, we're, we're doing so many battles here though that yeah, you just can't even get rid of them all in time. Uh, those are submarines being repaired. Hopefully you get those sunk. But yeah, I don't think we're going to need to wait to have the British fleet destroyed to get through here. Let me just kind of double check here. I mean, yeah, we control these zones. So we can pretty much uh, invade anywhere we want without issue. Uh, over here, sunk another convoy. Yeah, more convoys throughout here. And I do believe these are all troop convoys. I'm not entirely sure where they're going or coming from. Like, where could they be going? Because I thought the British gave up all their territory. Uh, the United Mexican States just declared war. Well, that's interesting. Because aren't they in the American faction? They are. Okay, so we'll just have to see what ends up happening with that. I don't know who they declared war on, though. Okay, so they declared war on them. They're democratic, but of course... Uh, they can't be pulled into the American faction because Mexico's in the American faction. So we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, but yeah, it's interesting that Democratic Mexico is also uh, attacking uh, South American countries. So we lost four, four of our submarines there. Sunk a destroyer there. So continuing to lose these submarines out here, uh, the, the British surface fleet still dominates these areas, particularly because we don't even have our own surface fleet here. Now, we might actually be able to send them and have some success and we do have naval bombers up here uh, well we have naval bombing happening up here it's it's actually tactical bombers since they're the only ones with the range for that uh, let me just see how close we are uh, to getting this done here uh, pretty far but we are you know having success here we're, we're uh, bombing the French submarines that are in the British ports there so we know that the British or excuse me that the French do have a bit of a fleet left. Uh, the British lost a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser here. Uh, we continue losing some of these planes, but uh, yeah, just seeing massive success here, guys. And got another destroyer sunk. So yeah, there might not be much of anything left over there. So one thing I forgot to, forgot to mention here is that I did send Rommel over to the Russian front simply because we, we had so many troops sitting over here with nothing to do. Uh, we don't need two tank armies for the invasion of Britain. Uh, again, I, I think it's going to be fairly easy. Five heavy cruisers sunk there, four destroyers. Uh, the Italians lost seven, or might, maybe less. I didn't see what number that was. I think it might have been seven planes that I lost there, but they lost some destroyers. Maybe it was four. Yeah, we're having a lot of success here, particularly on sinking those heavy cruisers. Yeah, that's probably the majority of their cruiser fleet at this point. Uh, we just got the cipher for the Russians. So let's work on somebody else I mean I suppose we could do the the French but uh, I, you know what we should probably do Japan so here's where I'm gonna go with this you know I've got you know more troops moving over here uh, obviously we just moved 
Rommel over here, and uh, he's going to be pushing over towards Moscow, which is not currently their capital. Their capital is actually in St. Petersburg right now. But, uh, yeah, I think what we'll just end up doing is if by the time we finish up with the British Empire, if, uh, or I guess the Union of Britain, if the Russians still haven't rebelled yet, which I kind of think they won't have, because they don't really seem all that inclined to do so. I mean, they only have, like, two focuses to get done in order to actually do the rebellion. They're just not going that route right now, unfortunately. And we're not going to wait all day for them, guys. What we do is just go ahead and invade the Russians anyway. And we'll be fighting the Japanese, which is why we're going to get that cipher on them. Uh, however, we're not going to we're not gonna do the invasion of Japan. That means we won't be able to have a peace treaty with the Japanese. Now, we can have the peace treaty with the British and the French, so that's fine. But yeah, I'm not going to do the invasion of Japan because we're just not going to have time, guys. That uh, next series is going to have to get started up. So, I mean, even defeating Russia in just a couple videos is going to be difficult to do. Uh, got light cruiser and three destroyers sunk there. I mean, they don't have a lot of troops, it looks like, or at least not on our borders with them. We'll go take a peek real quick, see what they got over there. Another destroyer sunk there. I mean, yeah, they're not even fully defending the frontier, though. They do have a, a ton of troops over here in St. Petersburg. But yeah, for the most part, uh, they can't even defend all their provinces here. Now, they might have enough divisions to defend all their provinces, but they are potentially on other fronts. I'm not sure. I believe all of this is in the Japanese faction, though, isn't it? Oh, you know what? It's not. Well, that's interesting. Manchukyo is not. So they could be planning to attack them, because I want to say they have a focus to do so. Oh, we got the modern engine. Still waiting on getting these. We got them done in three days. Though I don't know if it's worth spending the time to build them, considering the fact that, you know, to actually design them. Considering the fact that we would probably never get very many of them built before the series ended. I don't know. We did do all that research for them, so I am tempted to go ahead and do it anyways, even though we probably won't get to use them. You know, let's go ahead and start getting the 1944 planes. Really should have got these already. We'll go and get the fighters. Uh, yeah, particularly because this is uh, largely an air war at this point. It's the Battle of Britain, man. Uh, we're just trying to get all these fighters shot down. You can see we, we are shooting down more planes than we're losing, uh, so that's what we want to see there. We're also bombing all of their buildings and infrastructure and stuff so it should be a an easier invasion here we got the advanced heavy tank again I don't know man I'm just not sure if we want to take the time to design them since we are running on limited time at this point uh, we can go and get some passive bonuses here I think that would be wise uh, maybe get uh, the soft attack yeah I think that makes sense we'll get that I uh, sunk another light cruiser here. Uh, let me just take a look and see how close Manstein is to being ready. Okay, so he's ready now. Uh, we have 88 days to get the landing craft. We're not going to wait on that, guys. So this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and take these guys. Yeah, that's right. You can't do it that way. Put them over here. And then just grab the one that's over here. And put him over here as well. So we'll, we'll have them move on over here, and we'll go ahead and do the invasion with the 10 divisions for now. Uh, there's only one guy defending, so we should have success there. And then what we do is just take the tank army and, and put them right into the port. And that should be the end of, of the British at that point. It, as long as their fleet doesn't engage us here, which is a potential possibility. But we do have the escorts there, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, as far as what they got left, they can't have that many ships at this point. Yeah, they have 68 ships remaining. That's it. That's all they got. So we uh, could actually dominate the seas at this point. They have a, a battle cruiser and two battleships. So uh, we could really just do whatever we want. Now, if we were to say send our fleet up into this area, then they might face heavy bombardment. So that is something to uh, expect that they might have their bombers out here. Uh, so if we wanted to, to put them in any of these zones, we could. The only place I can really see putting them, though, is here. Since this is where there's some some surface ships. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and go over here. Also, we do have uh, naval bombers from here supporting us. And we also have those tactical bombers over here. And they should be able to reach just fine throughout the entire zone. So, we'll at least get some support there. While some of these other zones... I mean, this one here, you can't even cover the entire zone. 
and it's only the tactical bombers. So we won't go there. Uh, I suppose we could go here as well, since we have bomber support there. So yeah, we'll move over there. Yeah, I think this is fine. I almost want to... Well, we have a thousand there. I guess we have all these naval bombers here. That's quite a few. So what I might want to do is take one of these naval bombers here and move them on over to here. Just making sure we have a lot of bomber support in any battles we end up doing. So we're just waiting for these troops to go over here though. He is taking his sweet time. So let's make sure he's taking the rails. It looks like the other division did take the rails so he's already over there. Oh, nope, here he is. So make sure he takes the rails as well and then what we'll do is we'll just let them get their uh, organization back up and then we'll do this attack here. And, and then we'll want to change up the all the close air support that are doing port strike. We'll just change them all up over to actual close air support. So yeah, this is what I was expecting. That if we put our ships over here, we would start to face heavy bombardment. Uh, it's actually the submarines that are getting hit, but uh, you know they moved them over there, I think, because we put our surface navy over there. So, you know, I was kind of expecting that, but that's okay. I think we'll be all right. Uh, though we have lost quite a few submarines at this point, we're going to have to fill some of these in, in fact. Replace some of these casualties we've taken. And, yeah, it looks like these are all level 3 at this point. Okay. So we have no other uh, level 2 replacements. So we're just waiting for these guys to get their organization back up, and they're almost there. And then we'll go ahead and launch this invasion, which I do expect will be successful. Now they might move more troops over here to cover it, but probably not. I assume they still don't have a fort over here either. Nope, no forts. So yeah, these guys should see success. Let me make sure that they got their full organization. They look good to go. Uh, so let's go and send them. Though, do we not control the sea anymore? Hmm. That's interesting. Why are they not deploying? Could have swore. Did I click the wrong one? Oh, okay. I see what happened there. Uh, we added two more divisions, so they needed some more planning. Uh, looks like we lost one of our aces. So we need four more days, essentially, to get this done. All right, well, that's fine. As soon as they get it, they'll, they'll launch their invasion. Yeah, I just didn't consider the fact that we added more divisions over there. Uh, two more destroyers sunk there. Uh, continuing losing a ton of submarines over here. Yeah, good God. This is this is a risky zone here for us. I almost want to pull back because we're losing so many submarines over here. And yeah, this is like where we're losing our entire submarine fleet. So it probably would be wise to pull uh, both of them out of there, I think. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that, guys, because clearly we're we're having some problems in this one zone here. This is the only location where we're losing a lot of ships. Uh, looks like we might be engaging a battle here soon. Yeah, he's going over there now. And do we want him to assist here? Nah, there's just there's just too many bombers here, guys. Uh, again, that's what I thought was going to happen, but I wasn't expecting so many losses from the submarines. As you know, they don't have any anti-air, so they can't really effectively defend themselves. Alright, so just waiting for those guys to finish up their planning, and interestingly, the Americans want to give us stuff. I mean, I, I suppose they see the communists as a threat as well, but they're playing both sides here, because we know that they're providing the British with volunteers. Yeah, very, very strange. Uh, we're also getting that uh, bombardment support since we sent these four heavy cruisers to support them. Alright, and there we go, guys. That's it. We're already on British soil. So now what we want to go ahead and do is right. take the tanks, delete any orders they have, and pump them all into that port. And they should all be in ports because we assigned them there. And uh, we're not going to stop and wait for the, the tanks, of course. We're going to start pushing forward. Uh, London is defended by some tanks, but the infantry do fight better in the city, so I'm not too worried. Let's actually send three over that way and then we'll send one into each of these other provinces and see what we got left all right so i really want to go this way up here cut off these guys get all this wrapped up uh we need to keep one division here to defend let's keep two divisions though 
It looks like that'll be enough, what we have here. I'm interested to see if we can pierce. Yeah, we can pierce them. They do not have enough armor. Their armor's at 29.2, and that's for a medium, a medium armor division, guys. This just shows how bad the, the AI is at, uh, I guess we want to go to attack here, at designing their tanks. Their tanks are just never very good. And so you don't typically have problems with the piercing, particularly if you uh, make sure that you have some anti-tanks or, or just something that gives you a little bit of piercing. All right, so we've taken London just like that. This is all without the tanks, guys. And we're having quite a bit of success here. I suppose we're going to ramp up Dover. I don't think we'll need all these troops. Maybe just... We'll take one and send him over there because I plan to have this guy uh, stay on this frontier. Uh, we are seizing military factories from him. There's not really anything that we need, I don't think. Yeah, we're pretty good on just about everything. Uh, tactical bombers are kind of short, I suppose. Yeah, it looks like we're short on tactical bombers. Okay, well, those. We did lose a lot uh, since we've assigned them to uh, doing the naval bombing. We are sinking a ton of convoys throughout here. And uh, that's a big part of their remaining fleet there with that light cruiser and all those destroyers sunk. So, I mean, they, they really don't have much of anything at this point. 44 ships, uh, three capital ships, all the heavy cruisers have been sunk. Uh, those heavy cruisers are fairly easy to sink. Also sinking all these convoys. So, yeah, this is, this is over for the British, guys. Uh, we expected that we'd have the peace treaty in this episode. It's so really not... Not surprising that we'll have them defeated here. Yeah, we'll send these guys over here, and then the tanks are about to be into the port, and once they get here, things are gonna speed up quite a bit. Uh, let's go put this guy over here. But of course, they'll have to get to the front as well. All right, let's get these guys here destroyed. And we could easily attack across the river here, so let's go ahead and do it. That's an easy win. Alright, so he's already won here. Let's go and take these guys. Gonna come over to this front. And I suppose we can get plenty bonuses for whenever they are just kind of sitting around. And I guess we'd want to take his whole army now at this point. Uh, I was thinking we'd send an additional invasion over here since we've been planning this whole time. So we could just delete this one. And then send them over there. Uh, whatever we got sitting over here with uh, one more division. Though, I don't know if we control that zone anymore since we're no longer over here. But you know what? It's really not much of a threat at this point. I think we'll be okay now. Uh, because, we're, you know, we're over here in their homeland. We're conquering their territory. Uh, we will not accept any of these because, yeah, we don't want to get their autonomy up any higher. We don't really need them. Yeah, you'd think that they would use their planes for other things. You know, defend their troops. Attack ours. But then again, it is AI, so who knows what they're actually doing. So now that we have all these guys over here, what we want to do is take these guys and get them moving across. And I think that's it, right? Yep, that's all. Come help us out so we can push this front forward a little bit faster. Uh, you can see that they have reacted to our invasion, and now they're pumping troops over this way. It would be better to have uh, a separate invasion up this way. I don't think we're going to want to plan for that. I mean, we can try to, like, hit them on this side. Like, I'm thinking right there with uh, this army here. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and take them. Uh, oh, yeah, we would need to delete their current order, which is fine. So let's just go ahead and take them and set up a naval invasion over here. And this is, you know, not necessary, but... If we want to get this done quickly, we won't be able to assign them just yet. But what we can do is go ahead and get the troops moving over there. So that is three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Now we're using a lot of these mountain troops because, you know, it's a mountainous region. That's what I was intending to do, anyways. I was going to send them up that way. 
But we never got that invasion tech, so we weren't really able to send like multiple invasions. I did forget to get these tanks set up, so let's go ahead and do that now. And, and we're not going to do anything fancy here, guys. We're just going to go ahead and set them all onto this front. And just get it pushing forward as fast as we can. So let's take both of these guys, go and attack those tanks. Let's grab that air base. I suppose we want to start moving planes over here now. And you know what? I did all this without any actual close air support. We actually still have them doing uh, the port strikes. So let's go and take them off that, get them doing close air support. And you can see our allies have already started moving planes over here. So we're going to start moving some of our own uh, to cover this zone up here. Because we'll be doing that naval invasion. Now I think we've got very good coverage in southern England. So yeah, we'll just take any planes that we're going to move and, and bring them over here. So for right now, we can just leave all those close air support there and then just take close air support from other locations and bring them on over here. And what I'm thinking, it's maybe like three and three. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Bring them over here and put them into Northern England. There we go, beautiful. And don't really need to do the strategic bomb anymore either. I feel like we probably have full war score from that. We've been doing this for a while now. Almost. Okay. So we could be getting more points. I guess what we're going to do... It looks like everybody could reach here. So we're going to switch them over to this zone. So that we can continue to bomb. And try and get that uh, war, war participation. Alright, so let's just get these guys over here. Uh, looks like they're not moving there. Likely due to potential supply issues, perhaps. Uh, all these guys also have really low organization as well. That's okay. Let's push forward with the tanks, or excuse me, with the infantry. And have the tanks just go in places where they're not contested so they can easily take those areas. Just make use of their speed here. Alright, so now that we got the tanks here, this is going to speed up by quite a bit. These tanks are very fast. Let's lock those guys down real quick. And let's go ahead and push forward here. And again, just kind of avoid battle with the, the tanks until they get their organization back up, with the exception of defenses, of course, uh, which really can't be avoided here. Uh, this tank is probably good enough to attack. In fact, let's go and send some of these guys over here. And is there a problem with the front? Are they uh, all going up north? They might be attaching to this. This should be a pretty easy battle here. All right, let's go and push forward here. It looks like we have moved past our rails that we control. All right, so th again, this is this is just a matter of time, guys. I did expect we'd have them defeated in this episode, and this invasion here <laughs> is gonna hit. Yeah, after we've already done all the work, we'll we'll go around it, I suppose, but uh, it's pretty much unnecessary at this point. We'll just come up this way, and that way that unit will get destroyed, but. Yeah, that invasion wasn't really needed. But it was the furthest north that I had an invasion already planned. Like this one here probably isn't going to get planned quick enough. Not with the uh, 10 divisions anyways. Because they do take so long now. Because we don't have those techs. Alright, so we're going to attack those guys here. This will split the, the front. Cause a little bit of issues we'll have to fix. Uh, we do have free military factories and dockyards. But you know what? I'm not going to sign any of these guys because once we defeat the British, we're going to lose all the factories that we took from the French and, and the British uh, because we're going to make them into subjects. So yeah, just no reason to... Just no reason to, to sign them. This is just a matter of time before we're going to lose them all. Uh, let's go and push forward here. And over here. Give them another tank. Make that a little bit easier for them. Yeah, you see, we don't even need that invasion over there. Uh, and then these guys here, we don't really need them either. Uh, let's just go and take everybody and have them move over to the front line. We'll just let those guys take that province there. Alright, so at this point we can kind of just attack anywhere we want. Because the tanks do seem to have their organization up at this point. Uh, so here we should just be able to shoot through here fairly easily. 
Let's split up the tanks. And then it looks like we have another division here, but I think he's going over this way. Uh, let's go and push forward here. And again, I do expect that all, everywhere we attack should be an easy win. Even when we attack cross rivers and stuff, none of this should be all that challenging. Got all these troops over here. They should be coming over the front immediately. Uh, we got a unit cut off here. Let's go and get him destroyed. Go ahead and attack across the river because, again, it's just no problem at all at this point. I'm probably sinking whatever's left of the British fleet. I could probably pull all of our planes back because there'll be a subject soon, so you can make the argument that there's no reason to destroy their ships anymore. So yeah, the British will likely capitulate. I mean, maybe when we take all this, uh, take Wales over, but we might have to take a little bit of Scotland, I think, before they actually surrender. We'll see. Uh, that's their current capital now. Let's go ahead and have these guys spread out a little bit. And we'll push forward here, again, kind of spreading out into each province. And yeah, we're done over here already. So yeah, this is just a very easy, smooth invasion because they lost their entire army, essentially, in France. All right, so we took their new capital here. Uh, let's go ahead and just get these guys pushing forward because this is just about done here as well. And these guys are all trying to leave because they're not actually assigned to this front. I'm not willing to fix the front because They've been defeated. So with that, uh, we could have looked at the casualties real quick before it ended, but we already know that it was uh, a ridiculously high for, for the British and French, while pretty low for ourselves. Uh, our kill-death ratio was very, very high overall. So I did want to see what all they have left as far as colonial territory go. Uh, they have this little spot. Uh, I think we'll leave that for the Italians. I was thinking the Italians would probably also take Corsica. Makes sense that they'd want that since they have Sardinia. So if they get a chance to do anything, that's what I hope they do. And if they don't do those things, then I'll probably do it for them. Uh, the only thing we're interested in annexing is Alsace Lorraine. Uh, that's the only thing we really want here. Uh, I think the rest of this will just, we'll just puppet the French. Yeah, that's my plan. Now with the British, same thing with them. We're just gonna puppet them. I suppose we can take their little island over here if we wanted to, just so we, you know, we control all the islands around here just for fun. Why not? Oh, wait a minute. That's actually attached to the Scottish Highlands. So yeah, we wouldn't want to do that then. Okay, I was thinking this was separate, but yeah, it's not. Okay, so we'll, we'll leave that in their hands then. I'm not going to take over any of the British territory. We're just going to turn them into a puppet. This was our plan all along. Uh, now, I am going to take a look and see if there's any other colonial territory. Because we would want to take everything from them. All their little islands. So we're going to do that first. Anything else they got out here, we're going to take from. So they didn't completely free up all their territory. Probably because there weren't tags for these locations. You know, countries that could be made independent. That's what I expect. So I believe that's it. Because, yeah, this has all been, all this has been released here. Let me just see through here, because I want to say there are some islands that can't be released over here. Yeah. So we'll take all these islands over. So he's got the territory in India we can take. Why not? Uh, did they give Hong Kong back? Yeah, Hong Kong's no longer in the hands. Let's say we take that as well. Uh, so far we have not spent all that much points yet. 119. Of course, Madagascar's been freed already. Do they have any islands in the Mediterranean? I was thinking they did because they were doing those invasions over here. Or well, they could have just been doing those invasions from Corsica. But yeah, they had like the invasion of Greece. So that made me think that the British had something left over here. But yeah, they're giving up all their territory. Alright, so I think that's it. I'm not seeing anything else. There might be something else and the Italians can have it, I suppose. Because we want to make sure we're able to, to pump it. Both the British. And that's a lot of points, geez. 
and the French. And we're able to do both of those without any issue. Okay, um, now there is the Southern Territory here, which did not get puppeted, so we'll have to wait for the next turn. Let's just go and end our turn, see if the Italians got the ability to do anything, and they did take what I wanted them to take, Africa. All right, so that worked out well. Uh, so let's go and take this territory over for, for France, though you know what? I'm really tempted to give Savoy to the Italians. I think we will. Let's reward them. They've been working hard. I was already going to give them Corsica, but uh, they've been a good ally. They might just have to take it with their own points, because uh, I can't really take much here. Hmm. I, I guess we'll take this, so if they take Savoy, it kind of cuts them off. I mean, they can still take this territory. But yeah, we'll still take it anyways. Can I get this one for them? We can't. Alright, so let's go and end our turn. And it looks like they don't have any points to, to do anything. All right, so let's just try and get this for the French. Are they giving up? It looks like they might have given up on their points. Maybe they're uh, not interested in anything else. That's what it seems like. So let's go ahead and find Italy down here because, yeah, it does seem like they've given up their points. So they don't even want any of this territory. They just wanted that African territory. All right, so we're going to give that to the Italians. And I guess that's it. There's really not anything else to do here. Well, they have something left. Oh, yes, of course. I forgot that. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and take this. Because why not? Of course, that might cause some problems with the Americans, us being so close to them. All right, so let's go and finish up the peace treaty here. And that should result in us losing, yeah, factories because of those, uh, all those British factories that we lost. So we'll just pull back on... Can we pull back on anti-air? Yeah, we'll pull back on anti-air. We do have a lot of factories going towards anti-air. So we'll pull back on that. That should fill in down here a bit. Uh, but yeah, we still need the ones going to tactical bombers. So let's go and pull another five here. That might be it, guys. I guess we can pull back on mechanized. Yeah, we'll pull back on the tanks too, because we're pretty good on that front. And I think this is solid. I forgot we could design those one tanks, but again, I don't think it's going to be necessary, guys. I don't know that I want to spend the time, uh, because it's just the the Russians. Now, we will have to fight the Japanese as well, because they still have not rebelled just yet. Now, given we're not ready to declare war on them, we do need to move all our troops over there. And also, we probably don't have a war goal. We don't have a war goal either. Can we get one in time? Because it takes so long to get these war goals. 125 days. When would we get that? In October. It's a horrible time to invade Russia. Wow. Yeah, you need to be invading Russia like right now. So what I think we might end up doing. And they are still subject, right? They're still subject. Oh, wait a minute. I want to say, because memory is in 1905. That's, I think that's the focus, right? Just double check. Yeah, that's the focus. Well, it's not the one that's going to, to result in the rebellion, but uh, if they go after this one next, and I think this is, yeah, this is the one that gives them, um, well, it doesn't give many war goals over there, but it's, the idea is that they'd be attacking over there in the east. Yeah, this is the one they need. This is what would result in them becoming free. Okay, so if they go from here to here, then it's just uh, 70 days, which does mean the war would start in the winter. But what we do is we'd, we'd invite Japan in. I don't want to do it yet because then that limits us. Because uh, remember, the Russians then join the faction. That creates problems, guys. So yeah, we're not going to bring them in just yet. But if they go to war at Russia, we'd bring them in and we'd be fighting them in the winter and wouldn't need the war goal. Actually, you know what? 70 days, this would be the quicker route. So we're going to wait to, to do the war goal. Um, just see what happens here. Let's see what they do next. Uh, I didn't even know we could see their fo what, what focuses they're working on. So yeah, we'll take advantage of that. I guess that's because of the passive bonuses because we finished up their, their cipher. Remember, you get that nice uh, passive bonus on them, though we, we don't have it any longer. Well, we did. We did have it for a time. And clearly, that's not what's giving us the ability to see their stuff, huh? 
All right, so let's go and get all the troops moving over here, guys, and the planes. Uh, there are a lot of stuff we got to move over here. This is going to take forever. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and get started. Uh, so with these guys, we want to take all the infantry and move them into this army. Okay, so that gets them up to, to 19. we got more troops to bring over there. Uh, and then we will want to give troops to the tank armies as well. Yeah, he has five of the heavy tanks. He has three. So it makes sense to give him this heavy tank. And then I think we had another heavy tank over here. A couple heavy tanks over here, actually. All right, so we'll just take these two and put them over here. So that'll give them a total of uh, six heavy tanks. Uh, do we have any light tanks that are done training? We do. So we'll send them over there as well. Take both of these guys, bring them over there. And then we'll be bringing Gadarian over here, is what I'm thinking. So you got Rommel rushing towards Moscow, and then if, if we haven't taken St. Petersburg yet, we move him up there so we can get all these uh, victory points up here. And then with Gadarian, we're going to have him you know, race down here and get control of that oil. Because that'll really limit the Russian war effort. At the very least, we want the tanks to cut this off here. We have the mountain troops for coming down this way. Uh, in fact, we'll probably just bring this mountain army over here. Yeah, we'll bring these guys over here, but we're going to keep this army here for now. Simply because I don't know how long it's going to take for them to get over here. And I don't know when the war's going to be starting. So for right now, we'll bring them like so. And then we'll bring Gadarian over here. Let's see how we want to do this. We'll just cover all this. And is this one here. Right, excellent. So we could go ahead and also bring Manstein over here. So what we'd want to do is probably reduce some of the size of these fronts here. You have the tanks, so I'm not too worried about this zone. So I'm thinking like that. And then you bring the purple army down some. And then Manstein would eventually cover more than this area. But let's wait until he gets over here. Because again, I don't know when this war is going to start. Could start at any moment. Alright, so who else is in the west here? That might need to be added. So we've got them. Basically, everybody should be over there, right? You do have this yellow army over here. I mean, we're going to throw just a stupid number of troops over here, aren't we? Uh, I suppose you could take, like, the yellow army and have it invade from over here towards St. Petersburg. It'd probably exhaust supply if you put all the troops up there, though. Yeah, I think it would. Uh, really, we're probably going to exhaust supply putting all these troops over here anyways. So you got these guys over here, these guys. I mean, pretty much everything's over here at this point. Just not the yellow army. So we're going to keep them over here for now. Just because I think supply is going to be a problem. Let's let all these troops move over there. Turn it to speed 5. And we'll see what happens. Uh, we can go to get rid of this here. No longer necessary, obviously. Alright, so the, the British are Fr and French are defeated. And because we are a monarchy, they are monarchies as well. So you have Bourbon France here. And Great Britain. And the leaders are interesting. Not who I thought would be leading. You have Horatio Dundas over here. Uh, it's the same picture, but yeah, different characters. Uh, we did get the signal companies. We'll just continue researching these guys. Yeah, let's go in and get... Well, you know, I don't really like recon company that much. I mean, it's helpful to have extra reconnaissance, but it's not really that useful compared to some of the other things. The main reason why I put Recon Company is get the, the speed bonuses. And we already have that. We never did get the, uh, you know, the railway guns. We could go after those, but we'll never get them built in time. It's really not what we should be getting. Really, what we should be getting is like passive bonuses, guys. Uh, this one gives you a passive bonus plus new equipment to build, so we'll get that. Again, I'm not going to build those tanks because uh, we won't get them out there in time. So we did all that research for nothing, but, um, you know, what's the matter, guys? There's really nothing else left but the Russians, and I think we're going to roll right over them. 
We do need to move all our planes. Uh, so let's go ahead and get, see how we want to do this. We might need to build air bases. I don't think we're going to have enough here, guys. Yeah, probably not going to have enough air bases. So what we'd want to do is just go and tick these up to the top. None of this even matters over here anymore. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing pretty good on oil at this point. Yeah, I think we're just going to want to build up air bases. I'm just going to throw these all up to the top. Now, I do expect that doing this is going to result in, uh, you know, putting all these planes over here is going to result in severe supply issues. So we might want to ensure that the infrastructure is relatively high here, which, you know, it's all up to level three, so no problems there. And then the uh, we've already done the supply hubs, but they are not all getting as much supply as they could due to the rail systems. So it would uh, probably behoove us to try and improve that system. So that one there should get them up to 20. I don't think we'll be able to do 25, guys. It's just too much rails that would have to be built in order to get them there. Yeah, because you see that this is this is all 20 throughout here. Now, these are 24, which is strange. It should be 25. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure when it's only 24 there. Is it not our territory? Maybe because it's not our territory. But yeah, I think just getting up to 20 is going to be the best we can really hope for here. Uh, so here you have to go this way. I'm just going to do this for good measure. It's not really necessary, but why not? We got another one here. So yeah, I kind of feel like the supply hubs shouldn't be an issue. I think we should be good to go. I don't think we need to build any of those and we're not going to have the time to build any of them either. So let's go and tick up the, let's get the rails done first. And I should have done that a little differently. Shouldn't I have? Okay, whatever. So we should have ticked up the, the air bases and then the rails. We can fix that though. There we go. So we'll do the rails first, then the air bases. Uh, we'll wait to move the planes. I think we can wait a little while. Let's see what they're working on. They're reinforcing Western naval bases now. So they're not doing the great patriotic war of independence yet. All right, so maybe we will have to declare war on them the normal way. The United States has canceled their lend lease. All right, so that's over here. Okay, so they're just kind of bouncing all around what they're working on right now. Uh, hopefully they get that eventually, right? So they'll declare independence. If not, we'll just um, just fire war goal the normal normal way, guys. Uh, what are the Japanese working on? They're probably all the way through their focus at this point. We don't know. We can't see. Okay. So, you know, if we've invited them into the faction, that would stop us from declaring war on Russia because Russia would be in the faction. So we can't do it that way. Yeah, there's really not anything we can do but but uh, to fight them all, I think. And we already have all the, the troops over here. So what we can go ahead and do is change up the fronts. So what we want to do is go ahead and have... Let's move this down some like this, and then uh, get this front here. Have it start right there. Pull this army back. Again, this is overkill. We really don't need this many troops to get the job done. Not even remotely this many troops. Yeah, this should be fairly easy. And see yeah, the purple army here. I mean, this is... Yeah, we have so many troops over here. that we're going to have fairly small fronts for each army. Which again means that we're going to be able to push forward fairly rapidly. So we're going to bring these guys... Oh, that looks a little too tiny. They can cover these zones here. Whoops. Like so. And I feel like moving that back would be good. Again, these are all going to be pretty small fronts. You know, these guys also have to cover this zone, so what we might want to go ahead and do. And you know what? It looks like we have these guys just training. So yeah, we don't want that. I think somebody might have pointed that in the comments. So what we might want to go ahead and do... Let's put more troops over here. Yeah, just kind of fix these fronts. Alright, so that looks pretty solid. Maybe have them cover that. 
But otherwise, I think that's good. Yeah, that looks great. So get them all moved to their locations. And we don't want to declare war uh, in the winter. Fighting the Russians in the winter would be silly. Uh, invading Russia. And, you know, this would be, like, at this point, like, uh, December or something like that. So that would be silly. So we're not going to do that, guys. Uh, we're just going to wait until... I don't know. I'm thinking probably March or April or something like that. Uh, it, it's pretty muddy around that time here. This could wait even longer. And we're on speed five. And at the point, I don't really care about much of anything that's happening. Obviously, we, we have our ships out there patrolling. There's nothing even for them to do out here. Uh, we actually have some light cruisers we're going to throw over here. Let me see if we even need those over here. Yeah, we still need them. And I suppose we can fill in the losses over here. But yeah, I'm not going to even pull them back, even though there's really no reason to have them out there anymore. But I'm not even going to bother pulling them back. And we're just going to merge all these ones into to one here. Alright, so that looks good. And then just start a new one over here. And put them on to the convoy raid. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull back on here. Although, you know what? We'd probably want... I'm a little worried about getting bombed if we go over here. So, you know what? We will go over here, then. Just shut down the Russians from any trade. Uh, don't know if they'll be able to come through here. Yeah, I don't think we'll mess with that. We'll let the Italians handle the Mediterranean. Yeah, I think this is pretty good uh, situation right here for, for our fleet. Uh, and then with them, you'd probably just want them covering everywhere that the submarines are covering. I'm not too worried about uh, them being attacked uh, by naval bombers, with the exception of right here, perhaps. Uh, I guess you could have the issue here as well. All right, so we should be getting those built. Yeah, we have the uh, rails built. We're working on... Oh, well, we just caught an American operative. Uh, but yeah, we're working on the air bases. And we'll wait to move all of our planes over here until we have the air bases built all the way up. Just because it's easier. Because I could take like an entire air base and throw them over here. So we'll just wait. And I mean, we've got our, our fuel completely full. Despite the fact that I've still got all those planes out there. I don't think they actually fly if it's, you know, not, uh, if there's no point on doing so. Like if you're not at war. So I don't think they're, they're actually flying overhead right now. Yeah, you can see the air and the army are, are not using anything. Uh, the ships are still out there patrolling, though. But yeah, we uh, aren't. We don't have any fuel issues at the moment. So I'm not worried about it. Uh, I think I just set like all these guys to just train, didn't I? Yeah, we were just like training them up unnecessarily, rather than having them set this way where they stop exercising once they're done. Yeah, we didn't do that. Uh, we do have these two heavy tanks that I wanted to add into his army. And then we'll just take his light tanks. Like two of them, maybe the less experienced ones. And give them to Rommel. And so now we have exactly 24 in each of those armies. Now, uh, we got the landing craft. A little late, don't really need those. We're not gonna work on any of the ship stuff anymore. I think at this point it's really just passive bonuses. Yeah, it's really just passive bonuses. We can get the MPs, I guess. We do have a lot of territory that we're currently occupying, so I guess there's that. But really, you don't really need any of this. Of course, we cop that Swedish operative. Everybody's spying on us. We are kind of like the enemy of the world at this point. We've, you know, accumulated a ton of uh, world tension. As you can see, we are responsible for 167.2%. That is ticking down, though. But yeah, we... uh have produced quite a bit of war score. Uh, and I guess we're, we're done with all the doctrines. Yeah, we're done with the air doctrines. We're done with the army doctrines. I think we still got a ton of, of naval doctrines to go. And we just didn't get very much naval experience in those conflicts. Well, we got plenty of army and air. So I think at this point, uh, what are they working on now? A new beginning? So that's over here. Uh, so this is just going to give them some bonuses. They're not going for the one we want. I think we're just going to have to go and get the war goal, guys. Let me just see uh, when we get this. And yeah, we'll just have to, like, you know, fight some Japanese troops. So we'll be getting this in January. Okay, so that's a little bit too early. 
Yeah, we're going to cancel it. I'm giving it a little bit more time here. Because, again, I, I mean, with the January, I suppose it would last until March. But let's let's make sure that we have until April. So I'm thinking like another month. And then we'll go ahead and get that war goal. So, yeah, maybe like sometime in October or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, sometime in October. Should be good to go. And then uh, we'll attack them in April with all these troops, which, as you can see, even with us uh, putting all these troops on the border, they still have not moved more divisions over here. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Seems kind of careless on their part. But yeah, this is going to be fairly easy uh, to push forward, uh, other than the fact that manually controlling all these divisions is uh, a lot of work. So let's go ahead and just finish these up. We'll go ahead and get the... I'm thinking cap would probably be the best for us now. We're not really changing up where the factories are at. Uh, of course, production is not even a problem anymore, guys. Uh, we are stacked on everything. I mean, when you get in this late game, that's typically the case regardless. Uh, but especially when you've been this successful and you own all this stuff. Uh, we do have the Russian Cypher. I never used the British one. I forgot about it. Because uh, I didn't think... You know, I, I figured we'd, we'd send it when... Or use it when we sent all the invasions. Uh, but we never had to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get, uh, let's see, I guess we have a bonus for naval bombers, so it makes sense to get those next then, so we can get them quicker. Uh, of course, we don't need any of this stuff at this point. Uh, with the fighters, let's go ahead and add a little bit of experience to them, might as well uh, get them improve some. So we're going to do, I think, weapons and engines. Maybe even give them a little bit of range here, give them a little bit of liability so it doesn't get too low. I'm thinking that's pretty solid. Yeah, that's probably good. I guess you can add another bit of range. Can't do that, though. Reliability's not that big of an issue for the planes, because you don't suffer that many accidents. But you know what? I think this is probably good. Let's go ahead and save that. And, uh... Hopefully I didn't mess that up. I did mess that up. Alright, well, that's fine. Uh, we're just going to switch over this, this line to the... A's and yeah, this is gonna be messed up until I throw them down here. There we go. Now we got the floating harbors. Okay. Is there anything else that we got? It's trying to notify me about. Just want to get all these lights out of here. And then of course uh, here, you know, this is the fact that we got those advanced heavy tanks. But yeah, I don't really see the point because uh, we'll probably just roll right over Russia. Uh, maybe. Maybe in one episode, I don't know. Yeah, it might only take one episode. They're so big and you gotta take so much territory. It might take longer than that. Uh, so we can go ahead and take a look at the situation over here, the supply situation. You can see we are exhausting the supply. And this isn't a matter of uh, just the supply hubs. Let me make sure that everybody is set to use. Yeah, these guys are kind of unnecessary. You know, actually, Let's take them and bring them over here. I know that puts us one above, but we can just put right. one of these guys over here. In fact, Let's these guys aren't even a full army, uh, so we might want to go ahead and get some more troops over there. So this is what we're going to do. This is going to be almost as many mountain troops as infantry at this point. Uh, so yeah, let's just go and take infantry and bring them over here. And we just need two more at this point. So it's going to take two guys and get a movement over here. Alright, excellent. Oh yes, the whole reason why we came in here is because we've got the civilian factories. Uh, so we can go and get radar coverage. So it looks like we've already done all that. Yeah, I mean we've been... We've been working on this invasion for quite some time. So there's really not much that we need. we got the air bases already. Uh, they're all built up, so I'm going to actually go ahead and move the planes over here. Uh, but we, we see that we already have supply issues, and that's without the planes. So that's a problem. Uh, here it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised. They're having some supply issues. It's just so many troops, I suppose. Uh, you're at 20 of 20. So you do want to get it up to level 3. Yeah, it looks like you want to get it up to level 3. Now there is a way to... To upgrade the entire line. I don't remember how to do that. Is it shift click? No, I think that 
boost it all the way up. Nah, yeah, it gets it all the way up to like level five. There's a way where you can improve the entire line, like all along it. Yeah, but I don't remember how to do that. Yeah, I could have swore there was. Something I'll have to look into. Um, this here is con just connected by the port. So what you could do is go and connect to this level three. Get them all leveled up. Well, yeah, see, it did something there. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, get that leveled up to, to three. So you can get the more supply there. You already got 25 there. Uh, this one definitely has to be ticked up. Uh, but you can see that we don't have level three anywhere through here. Now, it's getting the level two from this way, but we're just going to build it this way, guys. So we'll get level three all throughout here. And you know what? We'll just go through this way as well. And, uh... Yeah, here's our, our bottleneck here. So we're just going to build a ton of rails, guys. And, and some of this is unnecessary. Obviously, like this here doesn't need to be done. Uh, you just need to, to go along this way. Uh, don't really need to do that one. But eventually, you might need to, so why not? So we're just going to build a ton of rails, guys. Uh, that one's not necessary. Though eventually it will, so whatever. So yeah, just kind of tick this all up here. And, you know, it's all going to come from this way, so, you know, I didn't need to do any of this here. So that should get them all up to level 3. And that will be enough, for, at least for our army, but probably not enough for the, the planes. I suppose we're going to start putting planes over there once we get all those rails built up. It's going to take a little while, but rails are pretty quick to build. So it shouldn't take too long. And planes are very quick to move. Uh, so yeah, I think, well, I think we'll be fine. We'll just wait. Make sure we get the supply situation dealt with uh, before we, we sent the, the planes over here. Uh, I think putting that many planes is still going to exhaust supply regardless, though. Yeah, most likely. And so we're just going to do this uh, a little bit later here. Like the 20th. Yeah, we'll do it on the 20th. Just a random date I, I selected. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and justify the war goal here. It's going to be 125 days, and we'll get it in February, but we won't use it until April. But it'll be useful to have it. And then uh, with Japan, they'll send their troops across here, but that'll take time. Although, I don't know, just as forming the war goal might result in the Japanese sending troops over here. There they go. All right, so Japan is going to man this area, and thus we are going to have to uh, to fight them, unless they go for that other focus next, which I don't expect them to do. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably have to fight the, the Japanese here. Yeah, we'll try and get as, as far as we can, uh, and we've already built all those rails up. Wow. All right, so let's just take a peek here and see if they are all up to 25. They are. All right, excellent. So we could improve them up to level 4, but then you'd have to go further back. Because, yeah, there's no level 4s anywhere around here. So we're just going to have to be happy with that. And, um, again, we'll probably exhaust it with the planes, but it is what it is. I mean, we could build the infrastructure up in the region. Don't really need to, but, um, you know, it does help. So why not? It's about uh, how well the supply or how far the supply travels, I think. So why not? We'll just get them all improved, and there's really not anything else to build anyways. So I'll build all that. Um, as far as other things to get, I mean, again, there's really just nothing that we currently need. Not going to need forts. We've got the radar. Yeah, we pretty much got everything that we could possibly need. There's really nothing at this point. I suppose you can get more fuel silos so you can stack up on fuel more, because why not? Yeah, we're just going to build a ton of these all over the place. I don't know. Again, not really any reason to build these, but we're doing it because we don't have anything else to work on. We get more military factories, but then I gotta sign them. Eh, I just don't feel like it. So because the Japanese are going to be over here, that there will be a, a bit more of a fight. So I think the goal here will be to try and get to the point where we're about ready to declare war, is what I'm thinking. 
you know, we'll be like really close to declaring war, but just not there yet. Like, uh, we'll, we'll end the episode maybe in February, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't think that'll be good. We got all these troops here uh, that I built so that we, we don't need. Yeah, we absolutely don't need any of these guys. We'll keep them training or whatever, but uh, yeah, I don't think we'll build any more. We'll just keep this empty. Uh, manpower. I mean, we're, we're uh, doing all right at 500 something thousand, but yeah, there's no reason to, to build any more troops because we've got plenty, though the Japanese probably got a lot of troops too. So we will actually see a bit of a fight here because of Japan. All right, so, you know, at least we'll get a, a little bit of a challenge here at the end, though, even with the Japanese helping, I do expect we'll probably still roll right through them because of how many units we have over here. And because they're over here, I'm actually tempted to go ahead and bring the Yellow Army, uh, but we won't do that because of the supply situation, because it's so bad. Uh, we can't go ahead and start moving the planes over here, though. So this might be difficult to do. You know what? You know, I'm going to do this off camera. So that way you guys don't have to sit through me like moving all these planes because this is going to take forever to move all these planes over here. So what we'd want to do... Yeah, I think February still is a good date because we're going to declare war in April. So that gives us plenty of time uh, to invade them. Uh, excuse me, plenty of time to get the planes moved before we invade them. Uh, so yeah, I think that'll let it work out. We'll just stop in February and then uh, I'll move all the planes over here. Uh, we'll go like two months or so. Uh, maybe not even that. I mean, it's not really entirely necessary. Uh, we got the naval bombers, so let's go after the close air support next. We'll get these updated as well. Don't really have enough experience to really do anything with them. Uh, let's see what they're working on. They're doing it, guys. Alright, so it looks like we won't be fighting the Japanese. So they finally did it. Good god, that took them forever. Here in 1944. In fact, by the time they finish, that'll be 1945. Alright, so... I, I'm actually almost looking forward to uh, fighting the Japanese. We could declare war on them right now. But then it'd be a mess, because they'd still be at war with Japan. Yeah, it'd be a mess, guys. Though I'm not sure, does that actually declare war on them, or does it just make them independent? Because that might mess it up really bad. Yeah, they, they don't actually declare war. Okay, so... I don't know what's going to happen with all these Japanese troops. No, I never actually did uh, get anything here, did I? Well, we're close enough to 1944. We can go and start working on these. Uh, and I think we should do logistics companies, uh, given that we, we have some supply issues over here. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. Uh, I believe it's just going to make them free. Uh, and it doesn't even give them a war goal. It gives the Russians a war goal, but it doesn't give the Japanese a war goal, which is interesting because you would think that uh, if they broke free like that, they would then try and do something about it. You know, they wouldn't just let them go free. Uh, but it looks like that's not something they get. They don't really get a war goal or anything. I'm not entirely sure why that is. They should get a war goal. You know, I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way February, guys. This is this video is getting kind of long, and uh, of course, it's really late, as I said before. Um, so we got this decision again. I forgot I was gonna do another one of these. And we never did. I just want to do them all. Uh, I know we're building stuff, but none of this is necessary. So I think we're just going to do uh, all of them. Can you do all of them? Oh, looks like you can only do... Well, that's interesting. You can only do them one at a time. Yeah, looks like you only let you do one at a time. Okay, whatever. I don't even know which one I built. It would have been really nice if they would have came into faction. I wonder what, what is stopping them. Yeah, we've got decent relations with them. We could take it up higher, but it wouldn't be enough. They're at negative 151. They're not aligned. It has a big penalty there. And we're also not at war. I want to see what happens here as well. So that's what we'll go to. So maybe it will be February. I know this is getting kind of long, the video, guys. But yeah, I'm really curious to see what happens here because it will affect us. Yeah, it'll affect us because, uh, again, I, I imagine that the Japanese are going to pull all their troops back. I mean, they're exhausting the supply over here anyways. And the Russians actually do have troops on the border now. They're taking us serious now that we're uh, working on the war goal. But yeah, we wouldn't want to attack when we get it in February, obviously. Look at all the snows on the ground here. But yeah, I'm really curious what's going to happen when they get that. And they almost have it. Uh, again, we, we just don't have anything to build, and I really don't care anymore. 
Uh, so I think um, he could just do more military factories, but I think we're probably just going to leave him, guys. And not even mess with uh, factories anymore at this point. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, I could improve the uh, rail system here. Now, you can actually get a full uh, 30 up here, but it's unnecessary. I suppose because you got the level 4s here, you could easily just kind of piggyback off of that and bring it all the way down. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, in fact. Of course, you got to bring it all the way this way. Then through here. Yeah, there's a lot of building that needs to be done. Again, these rails are really quick. So it shouldn't be a problem. Because I am a little worried about the supply. Once we bring the planes over here, I think that's going to be a real issue. Yeah, we'll go ahead and, and get these built all the way up. Why not? Go all the way up to level 4 here. And I think that's good. Again, we don't really need it that high, but uh, we might once the planes are brought over there. Not entirely sure. All right, so with that, they're done, and we can no longer see what they're working on. That's interesting. So you'd imagine the Japanese will now pull back all their troops. Yeah, they're pulling back with all their troops, and uh, the Russians are actually justifying against us secure the Baltics. So they might actually declare war on us. I mean, they get war goals. Okay, so they wouldn't be declaring war specifically on us, but they would declare war on our allies over here. Or I guess our puppets, if we wanted to be more precise. All right, so that's all I wanted to see. I wanted to see what would happen. And, uh, yeah, the Japanese have effectively pulled back. I didn't know if they would, because sometimes that breaks the AI. But, um, there are enough Russians now to cover every province. Uh, I, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking they probably had troops along, like, the borders with Finland and China, Mongolia, Manchukuo. And so what they did is they moved all their troops over here. And so it's not going to be an easy push forward. But it's also not going to be difficult either. I don't think they don't have anywhere near the number of troops we do. Uh, I think our divisions are probably better. They do actually have medium tanks and stuff though. And some, some heavy tanks too, I think. Interesting. So we've now got... Uh, the justification against the Russians, right? No, I read that wrong. We don't get the justification until the 22nd. The Japanese have uh, uh, been attacked by the Russians. Okay, so that's how the war is going to start. So what we want to go ahead and do is invite the Japanese to the faction. So this is what I intended to do for the entire time. Uh, and you can see that the Russian or the uh, the Japanese were, were moving across the Russian territory, and now like their entire army is like cut off from supply. This is like a horrible disaster for them. Wow. Yeah, that's like a huge chunk of their army. Just cut off from supply. Okay, well, hopefully we can distract the, the Russians over here so that they can't wipe these guys out. But I don't even know if they'll move at this point. So yeah, that did not go well for them. They were not able to get the troops over there. I was expecting there was going to be some issues here because of, because of that situation with the Japanese putting their troops over here and then needing to rush them back across. So yeah, very bad position for the, the Japanese army now. Uh, but yeah, we'll be here to try and rescue them. Let's we'll see how quickly we can get over there. Uh, we obviously are not yet in the war, and we won't join just yet. Uh, we can't go in and cancel this, though. We don't really need it. We can just uh, join the, the Japanese war. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and cancel this. We didn't even need it. And then... Uh, we need to move the planes. I'll do that before we start the next episode. Uh, we won't uh, join the Japanese war until after we get all the planes moved. Uh, I'm glad it worked out this way. Uh, I mean, it kind of would have been cool, I guess, fighting more troops, I suppose. Uh, but then we wouldn't have been able to have the peace treaty because I wasn't going to invade Japan. Uh, we just wouldn't have had time to do it. So doing it this way does allow us to, to actually have the peace treaty. Uh, so I guess there is that benefit. Uh, I thought they were never going to do it, honestly. Uh, but yeah, they, they did get it done. Uh, at the last moment here. Uh, so right before we would have declared war on them. Anyways, uh, then there's the Turks. I'd like to get them into the faction as well, but as you can see, they're, they're still hesitant. It might change, though, once we're actually at war, so we'll have to, to wait and see. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the last conflict, guys. I'm going to see if we can't do it in one video. Um, I'm going to try. If not, then, then two videos, and then we should get it done. Uh, we have so many troops over here that I think one's not unrealistic, particularly because 
Uh, you got the Japanese as well, though. Of course, they don't have any troops, so most likely they're going to lose territory. Yeah, I think that's going to result in them losing territory because uh, their whole army here is just going to get completely wiped out. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.